Hello friends, welcome to my channel. I'm delighted you decided to join me today. I'm Dr. T. I'm a board certified internal medicine, cardiology, and physiology, and lifestyle medicine. Uh, today, we're going to address cholesterol part two. We're going to look at why it's essential to life, what are the foods high in cholesterol, and we're going to ask the big question, can we lower cholesterol naturally without medications? And if so, what are the best uh, options, what are the best foods? We'll, we'll answer that question at the end of the video. We'll end up with a quiz time. On this slide, I want you to look at the chemical structure of cholesterol, and I want you to note there is a nucleus with a tetra ring, there's a hydroxyl group, and there's a carbon chain. And the nucleus is common to many uh, hormones, cortisol, aldosterone, uh, vitamin D, and even the sex hormones, testosterone and estrogen. And cholesterol is also part of cell membranes. These are the good stuff that cholesterol does. It's why it's so essentially uh, to uh, life. But if cholesterol is uh, essential to life, uh, too much cholesterol will get us into big trouble. If you look at this uh, slide, one or two hours uh, after a fatty meal, you draw blood, you compare it to a normal individual, you can see significant amount of fat on the top. And it's very important because uh, you, you cannot guess, you have to test. Uh, some people could be thin outside, they could be skinny, they could have a normal weight, and still be metabolically fat and get into trouble. So too much cholesterol will lead to a blocked artery leading to potential heart attack, a stroke, and peripheral vascular disease depending on which artery is affected at that time. And here are the foods high in cholesterol. Essentially is uh, the part of the eggs, the yolk, uh, chicken and beef are the biggest culprits in cholesterol. Only exists in animal products. There is no cholesterol on uh, uh, plants. And what about eggs? Eggs are particularly bad, increasing the risk of diabetes and coronary disease in diabetics. Although the nurses that have studied and the health professionals follow-up study did not show an association with coronary artery disease. But if you have diabetes, you need to stay away from eggs. And 1% increase of saturated fats in your diet will lead to a 2% increase in the LDL, the bad cholesterol, the low density uh, lipoprotein. Uh, that's why processed foods are a no-no. And again, any adult needs to have a cholesterol screening test. Test, do not guess, do not guess. And you want to know the liver makes 80% of all cholesterol, the other 20% really comes from all food. And the big question is, can we lower the cholesterol with diet? And the answer is yes. Dr. Jenkins published a study called the Portfolio Diet in JAMA in 2003. And they looked at three types of diet. One, uh, lower fat. Uh, one with uh, lower statin uh, added at that time. And the other one with a plant-based uh, diet, essentially rich in uh, soluble uh, fibers. And the reality is both the lower statin group and the group on the portfolio diet both had the same decrease on the LDL cholesterol and also have the same decrease on the uh, C-reactive protein, a marker of chronic inflammation. And we know now that chronic inflammation is very important on the development of atherosclerosis. It's not just the cholesterol itself. And here are the top foods uh, to lower your cholesterol. And essentially, soluble fibers form a, a gel around cholesterol and decrease its absorption. Once inside the small intestine, the fiber attaches to the cholesterol particles, preventing them from entering the bloodstream. Instead, the cholesterol will exit the body through the feces. And uh, margarines, uh, certain margarines that are rich in plant sterols are also helpful in decreasing the LDL cholesterol and decreasing uh, the risk of coronary art artery disease. And two comes to mind, one is Benicol and the other one is take control. What you want to look at these margarines, look at the amount of cholesterol and the amount of saturated fats. You want the least amount of cholesterol or zero or close to zero, and the least amount of uh, saturated uh, fats. That are the, the best ones. It's certainly uh, healthier than butter. And there are other ways of lowering cholesterol. Obviously, no smoking is important. No excessive drink. Excessive drink will increase 
uh, triglycerides, exercise is important, it also increase the HDL, the good cholesterol, the high density level protein. And if lifestyle interventions are not enough, we certainly we need to uh, uh, add medication statins or other medications that might be necessary. And in uh, conclusion, cholesterol is essential to life, but excessive cholesterol uh, causes arterial plaque leading to a heart attack, a stroke, a prefer and peripheral vascular disease, and even potential gangrene requiring amputation. We can lower our cholesterol naturally without medications by avoiding animal products and saturated fats, avoid excessive drinking, uh, stop smoking, exercising, adopt a whole foods plant-based diet, and again statins and other medications may be necessary. They are safe and they are very effective. And here's a slide showing the power of plant-based diet. This is from Dr. Esselstyn at Cleveland Clinic, and this was uh, done before statins were even available. This shows reversal of a plaque on the main artery in the heart, one of their doctors. Uh, these are this called the left anterior descending. And quiz time, which of these foods uh, lower uh, cholesterol? Uh, and the answer is uh, three and four oats. Uh, barley, eggplant, and okra. Lean red meat and chicken obviously does not. Uh, and remember, your health is too important to be delegated to others. Let's take uh, control. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell. Allow notifications so you are alerted when I post a new video. And make a comment or write a question. I'm trying to make these videos interactive as possible. Publish these videos on the second and fourth Friday of each month. See you next video.